Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 Global Innovation Forum, hosted to you by, with, by ITU. Uh, the forum promises five action-packed days with 120 plus speakers, simultaneous regional events with one goal, bringing the global community uh, together to unlock digital ecosystems potential. COVID-19 pandemic has uh, reminded us how critical entrepreneurship driven innovation is for economic growth and digital inclusion. And there is no better place uh, than here to learn about this. The Global Innovation Forum will empower participants with new approaches, uh, insights, tools, frameworks, communities, and relevant case studies to understand how to mainstream sustainable ecosystems that accelerate digital transformation. Now, the sessions will be brought to you live here on Swapcard, so you can use the chat to comment, the Q&A box, uh, and connect with each other directly. And also remember to use our hashtag, uh, hashtag Rediscover Innovation to join the conversation. So you, if you are uh, watching on this platform, you may wish to listen in one of the other UN languages. Uh, if so, click on the link below. Uh, and remember uh, that uh, you can only ask questions on swap card uh, and in English. So without further ado, I would like to give the floor now to the ITU Secretary General, Mr. Hulin Zhao, for his opening remarks, who will be followed by the BDT Director, uh, Ms. Dorian Bogdan-Martin. Mr. Zhao, the floor is yours. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Madam Bob Doreen, Director of uh, Telecommunication Development Bureau of ITU, uh, another elected officials of ITU who are joining us today. Uh, dear colleagues, dear friends, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 ITU Global Innovation Forum. The history of ICT innovation and the history of ITU are inseparable. For 155 years, ITU has shaped the development of technologies that have made people's lives better. Technologies like the telegraph, telephone, satellites, internet, and today's internet of things, cloud computing, AI, or 5G. But it is at our 2014 Planet Potential Conference in Busan that IT first made innovation and partnerships a strategic goal. Today, innovation is one of the strategic pillars of our Connected 2030 agenda at a time when 3.6 billion people are still, unfortunately, unconnected. Simply put, Innovation pushes the boundaries of what is possible. It creates jobs, economic growth, and new ways to attack the world's most pressing challenges, including the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, SMEs are at the center of this effort. Developing innovative solutions to address local needs it's very clear to me that innovation is not the property of uh, big companies only. I'm pleased that uh, this uh, forum brings the uh, resource and the solution owners together. Supporting entrepreneurship driven innovation has never been more important. For digital ecosystems to thrive, ICT innovators need access to the resources to take their ideas to market. And of course, they also need access to where developed the broadband infrastructure. Since the beginning of the pandemic, I've stressed the importance of putting the right regulatory and business environment in place to increase investment in ICT infrastructure. If we are serious about unlocking the potential of digital ecosystem and bringing the benefits of ICD to all, we simply cannot continue to do business as before. So ladies and gentlemen, infrastructure, investment, innovations, and inclusiveness form what I hold four eyes. These are areas 
where we needed to focus our efforts moving forward. All this week, you will be taking a deep dive into these areas and in the infrastructure, policies, and programs that support our digital ecosystem. I'm confident that what you learned this week will help ensure that your communities are competitive in the digital economy and that they have access to the digital technologies and the solutions that have proved so essential during the pandemic. I want to thank ITU's telecommunication development sector and the Bureau, the director of DDT, Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, for bringing us all together all week. I wish you all a very successful forum and I look forward to working with you to accelerate the development of digital ecosystems for innovation as a path to sustainable development for all. I thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Zhao. I'd like to now give the floor to Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, the Director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau ITU, for her, deliver her opening remarks. Thank you. Doreen, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Max, and thank you, Secretary General. It's a great pleasure to welcome you all to this 2020 Global Innovation Forum. Uh, we're really excited to be able to host this forum online this year, uh, which gives us an opportunity to extend participation. We have participants joining us from, from all over the world. We're also very pleased to be able to offer many of the sessions in multiple languages of the UN. So, so why host this forum? Innovation has been an important programmatic priority for the ITU membership since 2014, when the theme was first introduced at the World Telecommunications Development Conference. Its importance has risen over the years. However, we have often seen more excitement than real action. For this reason, we're holding this Global Innovation Forum to share insights, to discover new practices, and to enable participants to connect with change makers for more action-oriented outcomes. 2020 has been a most unus unusual year, to say the least, with, with COVID-19 continuing to shake the world. Our professional, our personal, our family lives have been disrupted, value chains have been interrupted. And in order to navigate this new dynamic, policymakers, city mayors, community leaders have had to look towards their, their digital ecosystems. In every region, in every community, a rapid response was necessary. Some were more prepared than others. And many now understand the potential of digital technologies to address issues that have been brought forth by this pandemic. As the saying goes, out of adversity comes opportunity. The global health crisis has accelerated the need for new solutions from digital innovation ecosystems around the world. Innovators have been working on ways to change the new normal in COVID times into something better for their communities. And those that support innovators, including policymakers, academics, corporates, and investors, have also sprung into action. Throughout this week-long event, you will have the opportunity to learn new approaches, to hear about frameworks, and to understand good practices from seasoned practitioners in the field of innovation, entrepreneurship, and digital ecosystem development. We need to develop an innovation culture so that creative new mindsets and frameworks can tackle the disruptions that we witness today. Innovative thinking needs to fuel digital transformation so that communities can address their problems and support their small and medium sized businesses, startups, and to scale up and become resilient in the face of a changing world. Building on ITU's Innovation Toolkit series, I'm happy to announce the release of a new toolkit we call a toolkit for developing sustainable ICT-centric innovation ecosystem projects. And this revised toolkit brings additional features and insights on how stakeholders can undertake rapid ecosystem diagnosis, 
can establish key recommendations, and can develop flagship projects that effectively nurture ICT-centric innovation within their digital ecosystems. Demonstrating new mindsets is not enough. Stakeholders also need to build collaboration and trust so that the problem owners, the solution owners, and the resource owners can come together, can come together to sustainably grow their potential. We have an incredible, powerful lineup of speakers and experts who will explore these dimensions this week. And from their stories, we hope that you will be able to understand what it takes, what problems we need to, to tackle when we look at the problem owners, the solution owners, and the resource owners and bring them all together. Technology can be the great accelerator for achieving national ambitions. It can also be the greatest equalizer. But let's remember that technology itself is just an enabler. It's not the root cause of change. You need change makers for change. And this event will highlight the stories of change makers, the change makers of the 2020 ITU innovation challenges that were held over the summer under the theme rethinking the digital economy's value chain during COVID-19. And through their stories and the stories of past winners, you will hear why digital ecosystems need more support for innovation and entrepreneurship. We'll also have an exciting keynote lineup for you on the power of digital storytelling. And on day four, you will have the opportunity to deep dive into regional perspectives and hear from change makers closer to your communities as they discuss regional performances, as well as good practices accelerating your digital ecosystem innovation capacity. On day five, this will bring closure to the forum. And we hope that by then, you will have deeper insights on the step-by-step -step approach that is needed to address issues as complex as those within your digital ecosystem. Our aim with this forum is to take you through a learning journey on mainstreaming sustainable digital ecosystems so that every community can benefit from their innovation potential and opportunities. I do hope that you will find this forum useful and that you will have an opportunity to meet new people, to learn new things, and to have your own action plan to start or accelerate your own journey. And finally, a big, big thanks to our high level officials attending this forum, our distinguished guests and event partners, and of course, to all the speakers, moderators, and community members who are making this happen. Many thanks again, and looking forward to an exciting week ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.